drag and the pin is stuck. Once upon a time, there lived a poor widow where her son had Jack. One day, Jack's mother told him to sell their only cup. Jack went to the market and on the way he met a man who wanted to buy his cup. Jack asked it, What will you give me written for my cup? The man answered, I will give you five magic beans, man. Jack took the magic beans and gave the man the cup. But when he reached at home, Jack's mother was very, very angry. She said, You fool! He took away your cow and gave you some beans. And then she threw that beans from out of the window. Jack was very, very sad. And then he went to sleep without dinner. The next day, when Jack woke up in the morning, he looked out of the window and saw that a huge peanut stalk had grown from that magic penis. He climbed up the peanut stalk and reached a kingdom in the sky. There lived a giant and his wife. Jack went inside the house and found the giant's wife in the kitchen. Jack said, Could you please give me something to eat? I'm so hungry. The kind wife gave him some bread and some milk. While he was eating, the giant came home. The giant was very bad, a looked person. Jack was very terrified and he went and hid inside. The giant cried, Fee, foo, foul, I smell the blood of a human Englishman. Be he alive or be he a die, I will grind his bones to make my bread. The wife said, there is no boy here. So the giant ate his food and then he went to his room. He took out of his sacks of gold the queens, counted them and gave them a sigh. And then he went to sleep. In the night, Jack crept out of his hiding place, took one of gold queens and climbed down the beanstalk. stack. At home, he gave the queens to his mother, and his mother was very, very happy. And they lived well for some time. Drag climbed the peanut stack and went to the giant's wife again. Once again, Jack asked the giant, giant's wife for some food. But while he was eating, the giant returned again. Jack leapt up and fried and went and hide under the bed. The giant cried, Fee, foo, fum, I smell the blood of Englishman. Be he alive or be he die, I will grind his bones to make my bread. Then the wife said, There is no boy here. The giant ate his food and went to sleep in his room. There he took out of hand and shooted a lie, and then he lied a golden egg. When the giant fell asleep, Jack took the hand and climbed down the peanut stack. Jack's mother was very, very happy with him. After some days, Jack once again climbed the peanut stack and went to the giant's castle. For some ter for a third time, Jack met the giant's wife and asked it for some food. Once again, the giant's wife gave him some bread and some milk. But while was Jack eating, the giant fee foo fum I smell the blood of an Englishman, be he alive or be he a dog, I will grind his bones to make my bread cried the giant. Don't be silly. There is no boy in here, said his wife. The giant had a magical harp that could be play a beautiful song. While the giant slept, Jack took the harp and was about to leave. Suddenly, the magic harp cried, Help, master! A boy is stealing me! The giant woke up and saw Jack with his harp. Furious, he ran after a jack, but a jack was too fast for him. Jack ran down the peanut stack and reached home. The giant followed him down. Jack 
quickly ran inside his house and fetched an axe. He began to chop the peanut stalk. The giant fell and died. Jack and his mother were now very, very rich, and they lived happily ever after. The end.